Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about MHC restriction of T cells. MHC stands for major histocompatibility complex. So let's get started. First of all, we should know that what is MHC. So MHC is a collection of genes which produce proteins which are generally expressed on the cell surface. And these MHC molecule, they enable the host to distinguish between self and non-self. Means due to this MHC antigen, immune cell recognize that which cell is of its own and which cell comes from the outside. And in case of humans, this MHC molecule, it generally, the genes of this MHC molecule present on the chromosome 6. And this complex is known as the HLA, human leukocyte antigen complex. And MHC consists of two classes, class 1, which is present on all cells which contain the nucleus and class 2, which present only on the cells which are involved in the antigen presentation means antigen presenting cells like macrophages, dendritic cells etc. Now let's come to the term MHC restriction of T cells. So as we know the T cells they cannot recognize the antigen when it comes alone. It can only recognize the antigen when it comes in combination or in complex of this MHC molecules. So this property or you can say this restriction of T cells that it can only recognize the cell along with MHC is known as MHC restriction. And this MHC restriction it generally you can say it generally developed or generally occur during their maturation in the thymus. What exactly happens that the T cells which only recognize or you can say which have the capacity to bind MHC molecule they can only survive during their development and the T cell which do not have capacity to bind this MHC molecule they just cleared out before they comes into the bloodstream or before they comes into the effect. So during their development only the cells or only the T cells which can bind this MHC molecule they are allowed to survive while other cells they just get destroyed. So you can say during their development this MHC restriction has been uh, given to the T cells so that they can only bind to the molecule which is in complex with the MHC major histocompatibility complex. Now with this animation let's discuss that what exactly MHC restriction. Suppose this is an antigenic protein and first of all a cell that is antigen presenting cell it just engulf this protein and break down this protein into small antigenic peptides. These peptides they can cause the disease they act as the antigens. Then in the next step these small polypeptides they bind to the class 2 MHC molecules and after binding to class 2 MHC molecule they are displaced on the surface of the uh, you can say the antigen presenting cell. So after coming to the surface of cell now they can be recognized by the T cells like here in case of the T cell it can recognize the antigen but this antigen is in combination or is in the complex with MHC molecule. So this is the MHC restriction that T cell can only recognize when the antigen comes along with the MHC molecule. So after recognition this T cell here is the example of T helper cell it start releasing cytokines. And these cytokines they cause the immune response. But what happen if an antigen comes alone? So in that case T cell is not able to recognize the antigen. So you can say here the MHC restriction is not followed because T cell can only recognize the antigen which is in combination with MHC. So immune response is there. But here when the antigen comes alone there is no immune response. So this property of T cell that it can only act whenever the antigen comes along with MHC that is known as the MHC restriction. So that's all for today guys. Thank you very much.